Well, hello everyone. We're going to take a virtual tour of our Cyclotron GMP facility as well as our preclinical imaging facility here at USC. This is a great opportunity for residents and fellows to take advantage of the research uh, resources that we have in order to conduct either basic science, preclinical, or clinical research using the facilities here. So let's take a walk through. So we're in the control room for the Cyclotron facility and what you just saw were some of our environmental monitoring systems that we control the humidity, temperature, airflow throughout the facility. And to uh, your left here, you can see the beginning of the GMP facility. We're not gonna go inside directly, but this is where we manufacture the radiopharmaceuticals for human use. These are all stainless steel hot cells, as we call them, and inside are the production units for the radiopharmaceuticals that we use for human practice. We're going to walk through the facility into the quality assurance area, quality control area, in just a moment. Just as an aside, all our uh, workers will gown appropriately here before entering the GMP facility, and this is a typical pharmaceutical, radiopharmaceutical type setup. So we'll walk through now the GMP uh, QC area. In this facility, we have all the analytical equipment to test the radiopharmaceuticals for human use. Things like gas chromatography, high pressure liquid chromatography, and other tests that we perform here to ensure that the radiopharmaceuticals meet the appropriate criteria for administration into patients. So you can see the array of different analytical equipment uh, that's in here and the specialized hoods for us to do the testing that's required for release of these products for human use. In the back here, we have a couple of interesting pieces of equipment. Over here, we have what's called a pneumatic tube system. So this allows us to take a finalized dose for the patient produced in this facility and send it through a chute, essentially. Many of you have gone to Costco or other stores where they send the money up a chute. This is exactly what happens here with the dose. The canister contains the radiopharmaceutical and it gets delivered right to the clinic automatically. We transfer materials back and forth through these pass-through chambers. So if you take a look through this little window here, you could see the other side of that GMP facility. When the product is done there, it's passed through into the QC room for testing. We also have a research laboratory here where early production for human use material, we can do the same thing and pass the doses through and do the quality control here in the facility. Again, once it passes all the QC tests, we can release it for human use or if it's going to go to animal use, we can transfer it next door to our imaging facility. So in this room, we house all of our basic material to make the actual drug products. So a lot of our injection solutions, a lot of our precursors that we use in the chemistry boxes and production systems are stored here in inventory. And this is very typical for a pharmaceutical type operation. Everything is checked in, quarantined, and then used with expiration dates logged and then discarded if things expire. And then we can move through these log books and follow the inventory as we proceed through the various months of production. This is a classical distribution of uh, quarantine material that we would use for human use production. So I showed you some of the GMP facility earlier with those very beautiful stainless steel hot cells where we make the radiopharmaceuticals, but I wanted to show you the behind the scenes side of those hot cells. And the reason is because the amount of lead and other systems in here to protect the workers, but also the electronics and all the plumbing that's necessary to move that radioactive material through the various steps in producing the radiopharmaceuticals for human use. We also have a number of uh, devices here to ensure that the material remains stable in an earthquake because we are, of course, in Southern California. Uh, so the state had to make sure that we had the proper uh, outfitting for the facility. But I just want to give you a sense of the complexity of the electronics and the various uh, components that make the system run. I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up of one of the hot cells. This is not in the GMP lab, but is very similar to the devices that we have in the GMP facility. And it'll allow you to see what's inside of those hot cells. So if we come on over here, you can get a little bit of a close-up. This is a chemical processing unit that's behind these leaded uh, stainless steel doors. 
And all of this, again, is controlled automatically by the laptop computer, which is just uh, next to the, uh, the hot cell here. So as we process the radiopharmaceuticals, uh, everything is, again, controlled electronically. And then we could transfer this material to the quality assurance laboratory that we saw earlier for final uh, processing and check. So what we see behind me is the actual cyclotron. It's enclosed within, within this concrete vault, if you will. And inside there is a machine that actually accelerates charged particles. And those charged particles are what interact with various substances that we put in the cyclotron to make radioactive materials. So for example, to make fluorine 18, which is the most commonly used PET radio uh, isotope, to make FDG, for example, for cancer imaging, we would produce the fluorine 18 inside this cyclotron and then transport the material from this cyclotron into that GMP facility that I mentioned to you earlier to make the final product.